Hey everybody, this is just a rough video about uh, all the stuff I picked up from the local uh, model train show here in Binghamton. And uh, still in between kind of places, haven't really been able to get over to other place yet where all my other tracks is set up and stuff. So we have to do it over here in uh, my uncle's basement. And uh, yeah, this is basically everything I picked up. Uh, I think I did pretty good. Because uh, everybody else that I saw walking away normally had like maybe a handful of things, you know, that they carried in their own hands without even bagging it, you know. And like a lot of people were just walking around. Too. It was packed though, when I first got there at the train show. But anyways, this is just a, uh, I got this at the, I got this at the Dave's. At the Dave's Trains and Things at the P and J Flea Market the day after, because uh, I was on Sunday and I went to the train show. All right, but a lot of this stuff is gonna be pretty cool. Let me uh, just make a little spot here for us. All right, Let's see here. Nice little rail gun. That is pretty nice. And it has a load too. Nice little coal load. This is my first time ever trying to do a behind camera display. This is a this is a learning curve. It's pretty cool. Nice, man to a Five bucks for that. Let's set that aside. All right. I think we'll just pull this out. Some nice little structure. I'm not sure if it's O or H O, but I think it can work. That you know. Either way, come on, focus. There it is. And there's a little lamp post here, still with it. It's pretty cool. I like this little. Sorry, I'm not talking much about this stuff because I'm still new to this, you know? And uh, here's another one. I think this is definitely H, though. Station. The cart and everything pretty much set up. A lot of these were like a buck or two for the little model structures. Nice little abandoned Siesta Motel. That's going to look really cool on a, like a more eccentric setup. What else I got in here? Oh, yeah. Got this one, too. Not sure what this is. Uh, what does it say? Marysville. It's a Marysville Depot station, I guess. It also has a ladder and a dock that goes with it on the other side, I think. Somewhere over there. Then there's this Delray Foundry. A lot of these I'll be like changing out the stickers and stuff like that. Like I'll probably be repurposing that sign as a, a billboard for somewhere else, you know? Along the highway. Spread the love around. Let's see what else I got in here for. Do I got any more structure? Should have some more. I think I do. Yeah, a couple more little things. Got this uh, little flight school, little shed thing, you know, keep it for an idea. Another little end scale shed, little person and people, two people in a box. This is like a buck too. Most of them were just like a buck, but see what else I got here. Sort of structure, not, not, yeah. 
I also picked up this like half house, I think. But I actually have it for a pretty good idea that I want to do like a like a strip track, kind of like the like one long uh, on the side or something like that, a one sided build, kind of like a skinny setup, you know. Yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, all the model structures. Now let's go get back into uh, some Beto. Found this. Pretty unique. Unmarked too. Nice and heavy. A little more work caboose. I don't know why I said work twice, I guess. Lehigh Valley. That's a nice one. The load on top. How much was that again? Yeah, but I think I talked him down to three or something for that one. What else I got in here? Picked up another BN boxcar. Probably got like one or two more to get. Here's the other one I picked up. And, uh, do I got any more Beto in there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Check this out. This one was a buck, too. Oh, yeah, those HO ones that I just showed you, they were a buck, too. Nice CNNW uh, heavy duty flat car. So I thought I was like, ooh, that's a buck. I'll take that. Yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, HO. I guess we'll go to end scale now. Pick these two up for three bucks. Not bad. Definitely need like upgrade, like probably the couplers. I think a little bit. Couple more Lehigh Valley box cars. I got a uh, one or two of them too. And uh, bigger, heavier uh, car. This thing is uh, made by Mitzo, I believe. When I picked it up, I was like, "Why is it so heavy?" Yeah, it's a it's a my mycito, I guess. I don't know, but it's really heavy for an end scale. It's got big wheels too, so I don't know if this is like a like a different type of end scale or whatever. I'll figure it out. And speaking of like weird sizes, look at this smaller uh, Conrail box car. I also picked this up at Dave's Trains or Trains and Things. Yeah. Actually, this is my discount when I bought it with both the that other con, uh, Concord thing. Let's see what else? Yeah. yeah, this is that loading ramp for the that one depot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Picked up this uh, hopper too. PFNW. I'm not sure. But it was like a couple bucks, so I was like, all right. And picked up a couple of your like odds and ends for like a more like a fun build, especially uh this thing was just like a bug, so add a little bit of dirt to it, dirty it up, make it look like you know it actually works. And oops, sorry. And this would be just like a delivery vehicle. Change out stickers or rub them off or whatever, make age it up. And, uh, and then here's also a really good score. Yep, 
Yep. Two matching, uh, I think, GP35 styles, maybe, of Conrails. One's a dummy. One's, uh, what was it? Yeah, these are lifelikes. These are lifelike matching Conrails. And I've got them for like 15 bucks. Now it's cool. Let's take one of them out. And they got matching numbers like back to back. That's pretty sweet. Back and forth. There we go, yeah. And, uh, they're pretty good, I think. I got all that for, like, uh, what was it, like, probably, like, all together, like, 40 or 50 bucks, I think. Like, around there. Yeah. Not bad. And I also... Well, I'll keep it a surprise, but I got, got, got something coming in the mail, too. That's like, a well, two things coming in the mail. One's like, I'm not even, don't even have a track set up for it, but I saw it, and I was like, all right, got to get it anyways. I was like, might as well jump on it. It was the last one, too. All right, uh, catch you guys later.